poked away by Coffey. Peter Angelo setting it up for the defenseman Stanton. On the wing, here's a lead pass for Coffey. Turned around by Kristich. Recchi. Lemieux. Lemieux. Backhands deep up for those. I Afraidy. First back for Washington. First back for Washington. Sends it this way to John Drews. Down the right wing. Gives to Pavanka, who backhands deep into Pittsburgh territory. Worked off the wall by Stevens. Penguins come out of their own zone. This is Francis now. A shot wide of Beaupre. Comes near side. Skated away by Iafredi. Iafredi sending a pass ahead too far for Christich, and it's deep into the Pittsburgh zone. The defense for the Washington Capitals, you'll notice Rod Langway is going to be out there when the Lemieux line's out there. He's looking for two guys. That's Yager and Recchi. A shot goes through the goal crease and out the other side. Here come the Capitals. Michael Pavaka to center. He's got Christich with him. Let's one go across the line. Peter Angelo to save, and he steers it off. The wall picking it up there is Mullen. Krista trying to poke it away. Does, but right to Larry Murphy. Murphy ahead to Stevens off his stick. Hatcher stepping up for Washington. Drives it back in the Pittsburgh end. Larry Murphy. Quick feed down the right wing for Mullen. Mullen sends it behind the net. Kelly Johansson for Washington. Steers it ahead. Jennings bumps with Cicerelli. Play goes on in neutral ice now. Samuelson backpedaling inside his own line. Gives it to Jennings. That one broken up by Johansson. Steps up to center and then slides it into the Pittsburgh end. This is Jennings. Off the board. Johansson pinching in. Gives to Cicerelli in the corner. He turns away from a check. Cicerelli now walks in front. Feeds to Lawler at the point. A wrist shot through traffic. Deflected off Hunter. Comes near side. Yager pokes to the corner. Cicerelli cuts it off. Gives to Hunter. Cicerelli gets it right back. Sends it back to the left point. Johansson winds up with a shot. And it's deflected wide. Lawler sends it to the corner. Hunter losing his helmet. His bump. Cicerelli with a drive. It goes off the side of the net. Here's Yo Samuelson giving to Herdina. Phil Bork just failed to catch that pass. And it's tippet for Washington. As a capital, Cicerelli was dumped. A late penalty being called by Gregson. Penguins touch it. And the Washington Capitals will get the first power play. We'll be back. Life without choices is like a jukebox with one song. But more choices are always at your fingertips in the C&P Telephone Yellow Pages. It's got more choices, a lot more, than any other Yellow Pages. No wonder so many of us, nine out of ten of us, use it. When it comes to choices, the more the merrier. The genuine C&P Telephone Yellow Pages. Nor the book can match it. A Bell Atlantic company. The Capitals power play in game one, clicking for two for four. They get their first power play of game two. Herdina knocking down Aya Frady in the neutral zone. He gets a cross-checking penalty, putting the Capitals on the power play. A look at the Capitals bench, their first power play. They have scored seven times with an extra man. The Penguins, one of the criticisms of Pittsburgh in the playoffs, the fact they've given up 10 power play goals and six of them here at the Civic Arena. The Caps with the first power play of the night. Aya Frady works to the half board to Ridley. Ridley sends one in front. Peter Angelo steers it aside. Mullen picks it up off the boards. Skates back to center. Mullen in across the Washington line. Getting away from Ridley. Volpre gloving it. Comes out of the net and feeds ahead here to Kelly Miller. Miller sidesteps the check, gives to Hatcher. Hatcher away from Stanton and across the line. Ridley breaks for the net. Here's Hatcher giving to Cicerelli, and a shot goes wide. It's off the netting. Behind the net. Ridley couldn't come up with a puck, and Hatcher has it on the left point. Hatcher sends one in front. Cicerelli deflects it. Ridley gets it. In front, Kelly Miller with a one-timer. And again, Peter Angelo the save, and Randy Gillen works it down the ice. I think the Pittsburgh Penguins are going to change around their penalty killing unit. They're going to pay close attention to the top guys. I am afraid of Johansson Hatcher. They're the guys that burned them last game. So the Capitals are going to have to move the puck down low. They'll get their opportunities. The locker shot goes wide of the net. Samuelson on the far side. Bumps with Kristich who gets the puck away. Kristich sends it to Johansson. Right back to Kristich. Moving in. Feeds back to Johansson to Aya Frady. Top of the circle. Fakes a shot. Gives to Johansson. Over to Kristich. 43 seconds left. Kristich gets it down low to Hunter. Back to Kristich. And he couldn't get his stick on it. 
Lemieux turned around by Hunter. Those two bump in the corner. Christich comes away for Washington. Let's one go. Peter Angelo the save. Christich gets it back to Iafredi. Iafredi turns away from Lemieux. Now sends it in front. Hunter backhands, and it's wide. Lemieux picks it up off the wall with 20 seconds left. Caps cut it off in neutral ice. Christich across the line. Gives to Hunter. Here's Polanka. Feeding to Christich. To Johansson. Iafredi in deep. Fires one off a skate. Johansson keeps it in. The team are now going to play five aside. As the Washington Capitals going to be called for roughing. The penalty on Al Iafredi. The Capitals really moving the puck around on the power play. The Penguins scrambling for their dear lives. They were tired out there. The Capitals, because of that, kept the puck in play. The Penguins couldn't change. Mario Lemieux out for the first part of this penalty. He's dead going to the bench. We'll be back. Stay tuned. Before you lift a finger in the morning, WTOP News Radio 15 is already in action. Staying on the ball is how we keep you on the ball. We're your news around town and around the world. We help you weather the day, settle all scores, stretch your dollar, and even tell you the best way to get to work and back. We're the one to count on in the morning and all day long. And all you have to do is turn us on. WTLP News Radio 15. On the penalty to I Afraidy. The Penguins four seconds away from taking the first power play for their hockey club. Pittsburgh seventh in the National Hockey League in power play efficiency here in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Nine goals in 41 attempts. The Capitals fourth in killing penalties. 33 of 39 they've killed off successfully. 84.6 percent proficiency. 11-18 left to go first period. A scoreless first. The Penguins to full strength as Recky carries to center. Here's Recky dumping it in deep. Langway first back for Washington. Works it off the wall. Murphy kicks it to the corner. Stevens is bumped. Caps dig it free. Ridley for Miller. Miller two on one across the line. Drops it to Ridley with a shorthanded shot right on. And Frank Pietrangelo holds on for the faceoff. Again, the Capitals scoring four shorthanded goals against Pittsburgh during the regular season. One way to guarantee yourself the best available seats for this year's playoffs is to put a non-refundable deposit on a season ticket or partial plan for next season. By doing that, you guarantee yourself the best possible seats for this year's playoffs. For more information, sales representatives are standing by right now. They'll answer your questions at 386-7080. That's 386-7080. The penalty killing unit, very aggressive and a great play by Kelly Miller. He goes at Paul Coffey, he drops the puck, then takes Coffey, allowing Ridley to walk down the center between the two circles and really get a good shot away, forcing Peter Angelo to make a good stop. Caps clear to neutral ice. Penguins force it back in their own zone, and here's Paul Coffey. Coffey dumps it in. Beaupre tries to cut it off, goes to the near side where Larry Murphy sends it back to the point. Coffey pinching in, blocked by Tippett, comes right to Johansson, who sends it away and down the ice. Peter Angelo. Too far for Murphy. Coffey stepping up. It goes off a of skate. Right to Larry Murphy. 53 seconds left. As Stevens takes the puck across the line. Tries to split the defense. Langway there. Works it to the corner. And Kelly Miller dumps but not out. Coffey sends it in deep. But Langway there for the Capitals. And the team captain clears to neutral ice. And the loose puck picked up by Washington. Kelly Miller lets one go. Peter Angelo the pad save. Miller goes right back after his own rebound. He's bumped by Lemieux. Who sends Coffey away? Langway steps up and clears it right back in. The Capitals have outshot the Penguins 8-2 to two and again are carrying the play here in this first period. Murphy skates back to center. Crosses the line. Offside the call. The Penguins pressing a bit. And they cross wires there. And with 17 seconds left, the faceoff comes outside the Washington line. Rod Langley, one of the keys to the penalty killing unit. He forces everything wide. Paul Coffey, he was sneaking up the left wing there. 
Langway had his eye on him along with Murphy, and Murphy stopped skating. And Paul Coffey looking for the puck, a little bit dejected that he didn't get it, but Langway reading the play, knowing that if Murphy did go to Coffey, he was going to angle Coffey and use the boards as a sixth man. That's what Rod Langway told me today. You've got to use the boards as a player. So you angle him over there, get him in trouble, cut down the amount of room he has to sweep in on Don Beaupre. Plenty of opposing team scouts watching during the Stanley Cup playoffs. Many of them suggesting Rod Langway playing better now than he has for four or five years. Not to say he wasn't performing well before, but right now on the top of his game. Paul Coffey fitted with the full face shield. He had just the eyes covered last game. Then he got hit with that Dimitri Christen shot. Had some problems with his teeth. He's now fitted with a full set of armor covering his helmet and his face. Nine minutes and 28 seconds left to go first period. A scoreless first at the Pittsburgh Civic Arena here on WDCA. Samuelson. Sends it behind the Washington net. Hatcher ahead here for Kelly Miller. Miller turns away from Trottier. Bumped along the boards in front of the Washington bench. Teams back to full strength. As they try to dig it free, Ridley does, sending it to the Pittsburgh line where Coffey steps up, looks for Yager. It was behind him. Goes all the way to Beaupre. Works it off the wall. Trottier cutting it off. Looks in front for Troy Loney, who was tied up. May and Loney bump. Puck comes to Trottier. Being chased by Hatcher, throws it in front, through the slot, and out the other side. Coffey sends it in deep. Hatcher there for Washington. One-timer by Coffey, and it's wide. Samuelson tries to get to it, but the Caps control in their own zone. Here's Kiprio sending it ahead for Ridley. Ridley looking cross ice. Nobody there. Puck still in the Washington end. Loney bumped by Hatcher. Yager takes a hit, but the puck comes to Loney, who sends it behind the net, and Johansson works it the other way. Ridley! Gets it to neutral ice. Play's been called as the net comes off its moorings, and we'll be back. This is a fresh package that I think offers a tremendous savings that is to the big, big box, but a big, big savings. The way super deals work is we get manufacturers to package products in extra large sizes. The super deals, you buy big and you save big. I think that's even better than half price. It is. We're very proud of super deals. I think it's the most effective way of offering tremendous savings to the customer. I don't know of any other program that we've ever had that has offered such savings to the customer at one time. Be sure to remain with us here on WDCA. Immediately following tonight's game, the Bullets will take on the Orlando Magic from Orlando, Florida. Join Mel Proctor and Phil Chenier as they call all the action right here on WDCA TV 20 Sports. Play underway. Murphy drives it in deep. Picked up off the wall by Iafrady. Iafrady has it taken away by Francis, but Iafrady returns the favor with a hard hit. Stevens sends it in front. Mullen was tied up. Caps try to skate it away. Down the wing. This is May. Dumping it into the open corner. Berglund skates after it. Larry Murphy first there to skate away. Murphy gets it to Francis. Francis at his own blue line. Sends Murphy away across the line. Murphy digging in deep. Fires a shot that's blocked by Langway. Caps come back. Lead pass for Berglund. Looking on the wing. It's backhanded by Kiprios all the way to Peter Angelo. Ron Francis to Mullen. Mullen gets it right back to Francis. Left wing pass for Stevens who was straddling the line. Stevens heads to the bench. Penguins change on the go. Langway comes out of the corner with it. Lead pass for Dave Tippett. On the wing for Cicerelli and across the line. Right back to Tippett. Top of the circle. Let's one go. Peter Angelo the save. The rebound for Tippett. Scores! Dale Hunter standing on the side of the net. And the Capitals take a 1-0 lead. This line of Hunter, Cicerelli, and Tippett really moving the puck around well since being united in the New York series. And they've really come on strong. And Dale Hunter picks up the goal, but a good play by Tippett. He's shooting high. He knows Wendell Young's going down, tries to go top shelf short side. He gets his own rebound. He looks at the open net. Stanton gets a piece of it with his skate, but then Dale Hunter with no Penguins coming back to help. And that's something the Capitals have to take advantage of. These odd man rushes. Dale Hunter puts it into the wide open goal. And for Hunter, his first goal of the playoffs. And he was standing there all alone and just had to backhand it into an open net. Over at the penalty box. Sticks get high. Johansson separated from Recky. 
Hunters first from Tippett and Cicerelli, and the Capitals have the early lead. Al Koken is standing by downstairs, joining us at the Zamboni Corner. Al. All right, thanks very much, Jeff. You know, one of the things I've noticed down here, and it particularly was apparent during the Capitals' power play, if you remember that play where Ulf Samuelson looked like he had a chance to clear the zone, Dmitry Kristic came into him and simply knocked the stick out of his hand. That hand of Ulf Samuelson, his right one, certainly still is giving him a lot of trouble. By the way, in the Adams Division final, Ray Bork has scored. That puts Boston up 1-0 on Montreal. Back up to you guys. Good observation by Al Koken. Of course, uh, here at practice today and yesterday, Samuelson did not wear a glove on that injured hand. Harry crosses the line. Down the right wing. Sends it in front. Beaupre leaves it there for Hatcher. Off the wall. John Drews bumped at the line. Play's been called. Johansson and Airy are separated. And Terry Gregson makes his way over to the penalty box. And roughing the call against Johansson. And Airy also gets the gate. So coincidental minors will leave these teams at full strength. John Deuce for the Capitals, a little bit snake bit, hasn't scored a goal in the playoffs after being the hero last year. The one thing about John Deuce, he's working extremely hard, he gets his chances, and I talked to him last night, and Pavanka, Kristic, and Deuce working together as a unit. Kristic, he thinks, and along with Pavanka, create a lot of opportunities for him. He's just gotta put the puck in when he gets the puck in the slot. Play underway in neutral ice. Stanton steps up, fires it in. Glove by Lawler. And the Capitals defenseman carries the neutral ice and flips it high in the air. Right on Peter Angelo. And making like a center fielder, gloving it. Coffee. With the crowd coming to life, sends it to the near corner. Pavaka with a shot. That one was deflected. Peter Angelo just gets a piece of it. Pavaka gives to Drews. Drews turns at the wall. He's bumped by Bork. Coffee sends it to the line. Recky for Lemieux. Lemieux dumping it in off the wall. Lawler sends it right back to the corner. Hatcher for Pavaka. Off his stick. Bruce couldn't control the bouncing puck. Lemieux sends it in deep. Here's a shot through the slot. Lemieux picks it up behind the net. Lemieux in front for Bork. He scores! Bill Bork. And we're all tied up. For that goal I think Gregson's going to give Mike Lawler a penalty for decking Bork at the side of the goal but the Penguins tie up the game at one on a good play by Mario Lemieux and Bork sitting alone in front no one coming back to pick him up got mesmerized by the puck everyone going for Lemieux Pavanka the third man back has to cover the guy in front not go to Lemieux Beaupre just about catches it in his glove but then it bounces and then Bork gets a second whack at it to put it in the goal. And after the play, he gets drilled by Mike Lawler. Mike Lawler gets a penalty for that. Well, a minute and 17 seconds after the Capitals have taken the early 1-0 lead, the reply from Pittsburgh, and it's Phil Bork, who, like Dale Hunter, was standing alone at the side of the net to beat the goaltender from close in. Recky and Lemieux draw assists, and as well, Lawler getting the gate. So the Penguins have tied the score and are on the power play. Coffee sends it in deep. Opre's got his hand up, and the Penguins are called for icing. And on that goal, Jeff, I think it was just a case of the Capitals paying too close attention to Mario Lemieux, who had the puck and parked himself behind the goal instead of that third guy looking for someone around Don Beaupre, and it's tough. It's a tough guy to play against Lemieux. You're on the ice against him. You're not sure if you should go to him or pick up somebody. He seems to always do some magic with the puck. That was just a great backhand pass out in front to Bork. He got a couple of whacks at it and put it home. I'm sure noticing one thing, Jeff. It seems like the better players... Paul Coffey was talking about in the press about not getting a lot of ice time. Lemieux logged a lot of ice time along with Coffey in this first period. From the draw, Yager gets it to Coffey. He sets up behind the Pittsburgh net. Pittsburgh defenseman throws it on the wing here for Yager. Off his stick, Ayafredi. First back. 
Ties up Yager and Langway sends it the other way. Francis to Yager setting up shot behind the net for Lemieux in the corner. Right back to Yager off the boards to Francis. Francis sends it in front over Yager and Lemieux shot goes wide of Beaupre on the glove side. Murphy gets it to Francis to the left point. Coffee for Lemieux. One time pass to Larry Murphy deflected off Langway but Beaupre saw it all the way. And the Caps send it off the wall and down the ice. You talk about Lemieux getting all kinds of ice time. According to Bob Johnson, the Penguins coach, he had 26 shifts in game one. Here's Coffee in deep. Sending it in front for Stevens, who backhands to the point. Murphy between the circles lets one go that goes wide. Stevens gets it to Coffee for Lemieux. Lemieux couldn't control the pass. Gets it back, sends it in front. And it's tipped away by Beaupre. Coffee sends it in deep. Comes to Lemieux. He couldn't again control that pass. Bumped by Hatcher. Stevens behind the net. Comes to Lemieux for Murphy. One-timer by Coffee to Lemieux. Again, he cannot control that bouncing puck. Again, it goes back to Coffee and the shot goes wide. Trying to tuck it in. Short side was Lemieux. Lemieux picks it up through the goal crease and it's poked to the corner with 10 seconds left in the minor penalty to Lawler. Comes loose to Coffee. In front, turning as Stevens Recky tries to get a shot. Down and holding on for the faceoff. And the Caps get a little upset there as the Penguins tried to get that puck loose. We'll be back. The team's at full strike and we are tied at one. What do you think? <laughs> Here's a better idea. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Welcome to the Bermuda Triangle. No wonder nobody ever comes back. Yes, Tickets for games three and four of the Patrick Division Final are on sale now. Game three is Sunday night at 7.05. Game four, Tuesday night at 7.35. Plenty of good seats available by calling phone charge at 202-432-0200. Operators are on duty until 10 p.m. And again, we want to remind all ticket holders, playoff tickets D and E are in use for games three and four. Lemieux and Stevens, a good shift out there for the Penguins. Created a lot of havoc in front. Stevens standing in front. Lemieux, so good with that puck, made a nice couple of saucer passes through the crease over Beaupre's stick. Penguins couldn't get their sticks on it to get a good whack at it. The Capitals clearing out in front of the goal. Puck comes back to the point. Penguins fail to keep it in. Samuelson sends it all the way down. And it's Langway looking to center that puck on the wing for Cicerelli. Hops over Robert Stick. This is Cicerelli from an angle, and Peter Angelo makes the save. Hunter picks up the rebound. Gives there to Alan May. Cicerelli dumped in front of the net. Comes behind for Hunter, who is bucked. Again, Cicerelli dumped in front of Gregson. Play goes right on. Loney for Trottje. Trottje trying to feed it ahead on the wing for Erdina. Picked up by Beaupre. Couple of Penguins. Bump Lawler in the corner. Hunter. Sends it ahead for Iafrady. Iafrady with a burst of speed across the line. Tries to split the defense. The puck was bouncing, and Iafrady could not control. And the Penguins dump it back into the Washington zone. This is Berglund. Bumped as he sends it off the wall. Roberts turns away from May. Sends it on the wing and across the line. A shot towards Beaupre. Glove by Iafrady. Iafrady feeds it off the boards and down the ice. Mullen for Pittsburgh with 250 left to go sends it ahead on the right wing to Stanton for Francis right to Coffey Coffey in deep Coffey backhands a pass it was behind Francis to Stevens Stevens on the doorstep and Beaupre miraculously gets a piece of it Mullen sends it behind the net gets it right back and Beaupre steers to the corner here's Johansson with a lead pass for Ridley Leach with him across the line. Drops it to Leach. Top of the circle with a shot. Peter Angelo the save. He'll glove it and hold on. 221 left. We're tied. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. 
Amtrak is the better way to Atlantic City. Special bonuses add to the fun. Daily service. Call your travel agent or call Amtrak at 1-800-USA-RAIL. Bye-bye. All aboard. Kevin Stevens a little bit disgusted with himself. Had a couple of good opportunities in front of Don Beaupre and the Capitals. What they do, you get that first shot, but then their defensemen are so big and strong, they nail you from behind, knock you over. You're not going to get that second and third shot in front of Don Beaupre. The Washington Capitals have outshot the Penguins, 14 to 9, but we're tied on the board. Coffee again leading the rush, goes right to Stevens in front. He can't get the handle on it. He gets one good shot away, but then Kelly Johansson comes in, finishes his check, really nullifies Stevens. Kristich sends it towards the net, cleared to the corner, off the glass. Gordy Roberts looking for Trache high in the air. That one was deflected all the way down deep into the capital zone. Hatcher around the net. Sends it ahead for Drews, who slaps it off the wall back into the Pittsburgh zone. Murphy. A lead pass for Mullen goes right to Johansson. Tipped by Drews to the point man, Hatcher. It's stopped by Beaupre. The rebound scores. Mullen. And the Penguins have taken a 2-1 lead. The Capitals guilty of a giveaway there. And on that mistake, Pittsburgh cashes in to take a 2-1 lead. You make a mistake with some of these forwards that the Penguins have. They all can score a goal, and Kevin Hatcher can't get a handle on Kevin Stevens. He gets a good whack at it, but then in the middle, no one's coming back to pick up Joey Mullen, and he just one-times it into the top corner. Beaupre going down. He can't catch it with his catching glove. It's a rocket from right in the slot area. Tough for a goalie to stop those. Dimitri Kristic, Provanka not able to get back, get their stick on him and lift it up, not allowing him to get that shot away. For Mullen, that is his second goal of the playoff. Stevens and Murphy draw assists. 18-11, the time of the goal. The Pittsburgh Penguins have come from a two, or rather a one-nothing deficit, now lead 2-1. Roberts sends it to the corner. Recky works it near side for Lemieux. Lemieux away from Iafredi, around the net, puts the brakes on. Lemieux sets up shot behind the net. They storm in front of Beaupre. The late penalty upcoming here. Cicerelli turns, sends it out of the zone. And a holding penalty upcoming against the Capitals. So the Penguins will be on the power play. 2-1 Pittsburgh. Hard as it is to believe, people actually walked away from accidents like these. But before there were seat belts, airbags, child safety seats, or anti-lock brakes, these people wouldn't have had a prayer. Which is why GEICO has lobbied for these life-saving technologies for years. You see, we'd like you to be our customer, or somebody's, for a long, long time. GEICO, we have only one policy, safety. Bob Airy for the Penguins, who is working in front with Dave Tippett coming back to collapse on him. You have to watch out because Mario Lemieux sets up behind Dave Tippett, the third man back. He's the forward that has to take away Erie. And Erie, a hard-working little guy, doesn't create a lot of chances, but playing with Lemieux, he's played with it most of his career. He gets knocked down by Tippett, collapsing in front because Tippett knows if he's even one step behind him, Mario's going to put it on Erie's stick. The crowd try to encourage their Penguins. Well, another power opportunity, power play opportunity here in this first period. Langway tries to clear the zone. Loose puck controlled by the Penguins in the offensive zone. They've got the extra man with a minor penalty to tip it. Stevens works it to the corner, comes all the way back to Coffee on the left point. Coffee for Lemieux, sending it towards the net by Recky. And Murphy has it. Cross ice for Coffee. Less than a minute to go as I afraid he gloves it ahead here for Ridley. That play's been called as it was gloved ahead. That one called by linesman Ron Finn. 53 seconds left to go here in this first period. 132 left in the minor penalty to tip it for holding. Larry Murphy, one of the goal scorers from the blue line for the Penguins in game one. The Capitals forwards. Mike Ridley and Kelly Miller reading off the play. Murphy and Coffee out there. They're looking for Mario Lemieux at the top of the right circle. They're looking to get him the puck. 
He's trying to throw it rink wide off the post to Mark Recchi, who's standing there behind the capital defenseman. Larry Murphy backpedals to his own line. Murphy leads the attack away from Iafredi across the line, looks for Lemieux, but drops it to Coffey. To Lemieux in the corner, right back to Coffey. Paul Coffey sends it ahead, backhander by Stevens, a save by Beaupre, the rebound. Kelly Miller controls and sends it to the corner. This is Recchi for Lemieux and by him. Iafredi down the right wing to the line. He's to center. Splits the defense with that backhand pass in deep. 19 seconds left. Here come the Penguins. Paul Coffey leads the attack across the line. Coffey stops, sends it in deep for Recchi, who gives quickly to Lemieux with seven seconds left. Lemieux to Murphy with a shot. Beaupre seeing it through traffic, and he holds on after making the glove save. And that's what the Penguins are trying to do here in this first period, storm that net and create some havoc in front of Don Beaupre. They certainly are. They're not gonna score on a shot that Beaupre gets to see the puck from the blue line. And Murphy, a hard shot off the pass from Lemieux. But Al Iafredi holding up Stevens, not letting him get across the crease to make that screen. And Murphy shot easily picked off by Don Beaupre's catching glove. Well, we told you earlier in the telecast about Paul Coffey's complaint about Bob Johnson not shortening his bench, much like Terry Murray did for the Capitals in game one in period three. And I'd like to have a stopwatch, Craig, on the ice time, the amount of ice time logged by Paul Coffey. Certainly been out there a lot of times, along with Lemieux. I didn't think Lemieux played a lot in that first game. It seemed like they weren't on the power play as much, and I think that's why there's a lot more ice time tonight. The Penguins in the first period have had more power plays play so these guys are more noticeable and Lemieux also telling us after game one that he was surprised he felt so good 26 shifts he logged in that opening game in the series and he'll get all kinds of ice time tonight coffee gets it to Lemieux but it's broken up by Ridley as the horn goes to end period number one and the Penguins after spotting the Washington Capitals an early one nothing lead on a goal by Hunter reply with two of their own Phil Bork and Joe Mullen replying, and the score, the Penguins 2, the Capitals 1. You're watching Caps Hockey on DC 20.